Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining me. So today we are unboxing Geek Gear's July box, which is the month of Harry Potter's birthday. So Harry's cake was one of the hints this month. So I'm very, very curious to see what they actually put in this box. Kind of hoping for a small piece of cake, but I doubt that's what we're gonna be getting. But I am very excited to get into this box. So I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay, so let's start with the sneaky peek for you guys. That is what we can see on top. Ooh, okay. The t-shirt looks like it's actually, yeah, the t-shirt's bagged this time. We haven't had a t-shirt bagged up since, well, I don't think I've ever had them actually, since I've started uh, subscribing to these boxes. They've always just been on the top of the boxes. So let's see what the t-shirt is all about. I do like the look of the design already. So that is the t-shirt, that is gorgeous actually. So obviously you can see we've got a big outline of a stag here, we've got a smaller stag down here and obviously you can see we've got a lot of trees coming off and I believe there's an owl, yep, two owls at the top here as well. I think that's really beautiful actually, that's a really, really pretty t-shirt. The colours are gorgeous, I love there's all like different blues in there. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like that t-shirt this month. That's gorgeous, happy with that. Next, got lots of wiggly worms. <gasps> oh, I can see lots of little boxes, which is exciting. But I'm gonna go for this month's tea. We have a Wolfsbane tea, which is Moroccan mint green tea. So that sounds nice. I'm gonna give it a sniff, see what we've got here. Open up the packet. Ooh. That smells really, really minty. It doesn't look great. I mean, oh, my lighting's not very good today, but it kind of looks <laughs> a little bit suspicious. But it smells great. It smells like peppermint. You can really, really smell the mint in that. That's really, really lovely. So yeah, I'm quite intrigued by that one. Like I said, it does smell amazing. I do like peppermint. So it's definitely one that I will give a go. But it just doesn't look great. <laughs> so we'll put that to one side. What else have we got? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm very happy right now. Oh, we have a Magical Treats Lollipop. That is super cute. I love that. The packaging, again, is always amazing on these things. So you can see uh, MT for Magical Treats. You've got the little sorting hat on top. That is super cute and I'm very, very excited about that. That's going to be yummy. I'm seeing a rolled up print. Oh yeah, one of the um, hints this month as well were the proclamations that you see uh, when Umbridge takes over as headmistress. You see all the proclamations going up. We have a proclamation print. So let's see what this one is. Okay, proclamation for the educational decree in number 98. Those wishing to join the Inquisitorial Squad for extra credit may sign up in the High Inquisitor's Office. There we go. That's actually quite cool. I like that one. I do like these kind of prints. These are really, really cool. And I actually saw someone um, quite recently on like a um, Harry Potter DIY page on Facebook where everyone's done like their own handmade things. Um, and someone had a good few of these, all different ones, um, in the frames nigh on identical to the ones that you see in the films and she had them all um on her wall and they looked absolutely amazing so if you get more of these i think you can make a really really nice display piece so ooh, we have a mystery white box and we have what's clearly going to be a luna product here again luna was one of the hints for this month's box so i'm oh which one did i go for i'm gonna go for luna's box because i'm very intrigued so let's have a little look what we have in here Oh, this is too cute. We have Luna's cork necklace. That is super, super cute. Oh, it's got a really lovely little clasp as well to connect the cork to the actual necklace itself. <gasps> look at that. That is so cute. That's gonna look amazing on my shelves. Obviously, it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna wear because it's a bit of a random piece, I suppose, for people that don't know anything about Harry Potter. But for like shelving and stuff, that looks really, really cute. I love it. That is so sweet. We'll pop that back in its box. Okay. We have a dig around just to see what else we have, if anything. We have the cheat sheet, which is covered in wiggly worms. So I'm just moving them up the way. Hmm. Now, this is intriguing. 
We have a print right at the bottom of the box. It's got very similar colours to a couple of prints that we've received so far. I can't get it out. I'm going to end up getting wiggly worms everywhere. Come on. Here we go. Oh, okay. So it's in a very, very similar colour print, uh, colour scheme to a few prints we've had already, but it is a different one, so thank goodness. This says, until the very end, and you've got Harry's, Ron's, and Hermione's wand going through there, and they're all connected. You can see there's a little love heart in the middle and a lightning bolt. That is really, really lovely, and I think that's going to go in, because I've got the prints that are already in this colour scheme. I've got them already framed. I haven't got them up yet, but I have got them framed. So I'm gonna to have to get a frame and put them as a trio because this is gorgeous. And I love the colour scheme of this one. So very, very happy with the print. Anything else? No, we've just got Wiggly Worms and the scratch card. I'm gonna quickly give this card a scratch. I never, ever, ever win, but we'll see, shall we? No win. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we have just got this little mystery white box and I'm very intrigued as to what this could be. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. We have a birthday cake. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Again, this is something that's gonna look amazing on your shelving. Look at that. Happy birthday, Harry. And it's got this little box as well. So obviously you'd have to keep the box because you can pop it in there. That is so, so cute. I love it. Happy birthday, Harry. Wow, that is literally the most adorable thing I've ever seen. It's not real cake. You can't eat it, but it is just as good almost. That is amazing. I love it. Okay, I'm going to have a quick little look at the cheat sheet. Let's rip this baby open. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the exclusive stag t-shirt, although they haven't put the T on the end of shirt on this. Okay, so we've got the exclusive stag t-shirt. I really like that t-shirt, it's really, really nice. The license and exclusive until the very end A4 print. License and exclusive proclamation poster number 98. The exclusive birthday cake ornament, that is amazing. I love it, I can't believe that's in that box. Uh, we have the exclusive witch's cork necklace, obviously the lunar necklace, and the exclusive Magical Treats Lollipop and the exclusive monthly Wolfsbane tea. That tea smells amazing, but I'm still standing by the fact that it looks well dodgy. So next month's box hint is house related. So we get to have some Ravenclaw items, which we haven't had for a very long time in these boxes. I really miss the boxes being colour coordinated because every month I get a blue box and now I just get these brown ones. And I kind of feel like the houses have kind of been stripped out of these boxes like you don't really get a lot of house related items anymore so the fact that next month's box is going to be a house related box i'm very very excited so yeah my favorite items this month hmm it's quite typical actually the lollipop is going to go down a real treat pun intended the cake is just brilliant i absolutely adore this cake it's super super cute it's quite heavy as well so it's nice quality um, and it's going to look amazing on my shelves and the cork necklace is super cute as well. So that's definitely going to be something that I display proudly on my shelves. So yeah, I'd love to hear what your favourite items were. Is there anything on here that you think, oh my gosh, I wish I got this box because I really wanted that? Or is there anything that you think, eh, you know what, it's not that great? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.